This graph is called an ogive, and an ogive is different from any graph we've done so far because this one takes the cumulative frequencies, and this time they're plotted at the upper class boundaries, and then they're connected. But because we're using the upper class boundaries, what'll happen is at the beginning of the graph, we are going to do the very first one and start at the very first lower boundary. But because we haven't accumulated any frequencies yet, we will end up having a height of zero. So first thing I need to do is figure out my boundaries, which remember again, I'm looking at 15 minus 14 to get a one, divide it by two to find that middle point of 0.5 and subtracting it from the first boundary. And in this case, I only added it to the upper boundaries because remember, I'm only interested in graphing the upper boundaries, but it'll make more sense when I go to do the final graph. So I also need to watch out for the fact that I'm graphing cumulative figures and I don't have those listed. So I need to complete a cumulative frequency table. Remember, the first thing you do is just copy the first frequency across. So I've got six. Now I take six, I add it to four, and list that as my next value. So I've got 10 things so far. 10 plus no more things is going to give me a sum of 10, and 10 plus two is going to give me a final cumulative value of 12. So I've got the left and right columns and I'm ready to go ahead and draw my graph. I draw my L shape or my X and my Y axis. Remember that it's the upper limits I want, but really you just draw all the boundary points as we've been drawing before. My first lower limit and then the uppers, but that's what we did before. Here's the part I always mess up. Oh my God, I swear every time. <laughs> when we're going to graph on the left side, I'm so tempted to want to go up to six or to 50% because those are the problems we've been doing. But an ogive will never be relative frequency and an ogive will actually never be relative frequency. Remember, it's cumulative frequency and I need to go up to a height of 12 for this one. Now, so far, we've just been doing a height of six and it's fit really well. 12 would kind of be pushing it. But what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll still do six markers, but I can go by twos. So this way, I know that six markers will work their way up the top. But if I count by twos, I'll get all 12 in. And then don't forget to label it. Like in this case, it's cumulative frequencies. Now, according to the directions, I need to be plotting above the upper boundaries. So the first thing I wanna do is put a dot above 14.5 at a height of six. Now I go to my next upper limit and I need a height of 10. The next one is 10 again, so straight across. And my last cumulative frequency would be above the 29.5 at the height of 12. The other piece is when I go to draft this, draw this, sorry, it says, remember, the graph starts where the lower limit has a height of zero. So at 9.5, I start from a height of zero and now start connecting all of the graphs. And that's it. I'm done. Stop. Do not go any further with this.